Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most white boy 7th Street. I feel like we're time traveling today. We're doing a classic Call of Duty commentary over some World at War gameplay. No scoping some noobs. I love this game so much. I had such a fun time getting these few gameplays for you. Shooting people in the legs, blowing them off. I love the gore in this game, but we have a very important subject to talk about in today's video. I never thought through my many years of gaming athleticism that I would see the day where Battlefield outsold Call of Duty. I think that day is upon us and I've seen so much criticism from the Call of Duty YouTubers that are influenced by the Activision agenda heavily say that Battlefield at its best couldn't beat Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty at its worst. They referred to reports like this from GameSpot the top 2017 games, you can see Call of Duty is ahead of Battlefield 1. But you look at the fine print and it says year to date based on dollar sales. Now, if you do the quick math, which I think is a big concern in the Call of Duty community and the younger fan base, and I think this is one of the reasons the CSGO scandal was so prevalent with the youth, because kids these days just don't do the math and the numbers don't add up. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Bundle, which I don't know how many copies the Modern Warfare Remastered Bundle drove, but I can tell you personally, I have not touched Infinite Warfare since the beta. The only reason I bought the game is for Modern Warfare Remastered, and I think there's a lot of people that can agree with me in the comments section down below and in the Call of Duty community that did not want to play Infinite Warfare. They either played Black Ops 3 because it was superior or hate boost jumping by this point so much that they want to pull their eyeballs out. So, let's do the quick math. Battlefield 1 costs $60. Infinite Warfare bundle costs $80. 60 times 4, so 4 copies of Battlefield 1 equals 240. Now, three copies of Infinite Warfare Bundle at $80 each equals that same amount at $240. So, you have to sell four copies of Battlefield 1 to equal the equivalent dollar value of three copies of Infinite Warfare. Now, I think it's right for these Call of Duty YouTubers to say that Infinite Warfare did beat Battlefield this one when it comes to dollars, all right? Dollars is what the society that we live in goes off of. And if you want to include supply drops, they're probably still making a killing on Infinite Warfare compared to Battlefield 1. But if you look at VGCharts.com is the leading source for video game sales. I have seen some controversy on this website criticizing the legitimacy and accuracy of their numbers, but I independently researched as a video game journalist the numbers they're comparing for Call of Duty sales and what Activision said, and they are spot on pretty much with the numbers. And if you take a look at the charts right now, you're going to see Battlefield 1 sold a total of 12.3 million copies, and you switch over to Infinite Warfare, they sold a total of 11.8 million copies. I think this is a pretty significant development in the Call of Duty vs. Battlefield fight because not many people are reporting it and this really slaps the faces of all those pompous assholes in the Call of Duty community who were bragging about, oh, ho, 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 Battlefield still didn't sell as many copies of Infinite Warfare. Call of Duty is still the best and I don't even think they consider, look at this knife right here to get the dogs, that was pretty clutch. I don't think they even consider the fact that Call of Duty spent so much energy this year to sell two games, not one game, they sold two games this year and they did beat Battlefield in terms of dollars sold, but barely. And if you consider the gap that Battlefield closed, this year between Call of Duty and Battlefield, like I'm gonna close the gap in the dojo right here. I'm out of bullets, but I'm a savage. I try to stab both of those motherfuckers in the dojo. I get turned up playing this game. My testosterone levels rise to an unprecedented level, an illegal level, quite frank. 
and this game is so fun to play and I'm very excited about Call of Duty World War 2 but we have to consider the gap that Battlefield closed from Call of Duty in its prime breaking Avatar's record the most dollars ever made the most copies ever sold Modern Warfare 3 world's fastest nuke days 30 million copies sold to this year there are about half of that at 12 million and Battlefield has more and yes Call of Duty did beat Battlefield when it comes to do oh my god that clip right there shooting off the person's leg is exactly what we need in Call of Duty I have to go on a separate tangent because I seen this BS in Call of Duty where they're censoring the swastika they got to remove Hitler removing Nazis okay one of my favorite things about these games is killing Nazis and they remove Nazi zombies from the mod the Black Ops 3 DLC uh, remastered pack the bayonet jump charge and a tea bag we are time traveling when's the last time you got your balls stretched and tea bag somebody do it next time you play an online game it feels good I like to psychologically mess with my opponents hitting hitting them with a the tea bag but I love killing Nazis and I feel like they're gonna remove Hitler at this point putting women on the front lines storming the beaches of Normandy which is not historically accurate and when you report back to the Call of Duty uh, initial launch for World War II they said we're gonna make this the most historically accurate game ever by the way a two-in-one collateral through the dojo through the mortar smoke and we have a very close game. It's 2.30 to 2.720. This is a crazy game, ladies and gentlemen. I just think the route the Activision agenda is taking is a mistake trying to pander to the left-wing liberal, making the game politically correct. When you're talking about a significant time in history, World War II, it was a dark time, and I just feel like they're going to remove Hitler at this point. Why can't I teabag Hitler and disrespect him? in a game like that's what i want to do and i think that's what made these games when call of duty was so great special and i hope they listen instead of to the 13 year olds fidget spinning to the young adults 18 years old to 27 years old when the game was on top of the world i think that's when they really spoke to us remember in the call of duty reveals they would like talk shit to battlefield and like use the word kick ass and thing they would never say kick ass during a reveal anymore i feel like at this point and oh i just kind of changed subject from call of duty uh being outsold by battlefield one to call of duty being pc and i think they are definitely related battlefield one switched it up and went to world war one went really nitty and gritty and gruesome even though you can't shoot someone in the legs like you can in this game and blow them off you can shoot them in the head and the helmet flies off i don't know if it's something in like the legality of these recent games but why can't you shoot someone's legs off is it just because they can't show that a type of gore overseas and like when you think of these video games you gotta also keep in mind that they are publicly traded companies and they have to do what's best uh, for the game and to sell the most copies and I think when they look at it on paper they say okay we have 3% females we have 3% German uh, fan base so we have to put females storming the beaches of Normandy and we also have to put uh, or remove swastikas and Nazis and Hitler to appeal to the Germans. So on paper, they're going to sell to six more percent players, but uh, I think on paper they should also realize you compare Modern Warfare 3 and like World at War and these games, Black Ops 1, where they didn't have that social agenda that they're trying to influence, uh, and they sold 25 million copies. Infinite Warfare sold half of that so there's something there and I always say that I would have spent so much money on supply drops 
during the Black Ops 1 days because I bought the Black Ops 1 wallet, I bought the shoes, I bought the stickers, I bought everything. And that's because the game was good and I wanted to represent the Call of Duty brand because I was proud of it. But you look at the Call of Duty franchise now and they're selling 50% of the games that they used to. And I think the big problem that they're encountering is they're trying to appeal to six more percent on paper, but what made Call of Duty good is because they pushed the boundaries and it was a little bit socially crazy at the time. Now they're pulling back from that extremely and trying to appeal to the 12 year old demographic. And it just doesn't make sense to me as like make COD great again. And by the way, my, ooh, my knives are on point. My, my jab, I've been working on it. Panic knifing like a beast. We're going on a 15 kill streak right now and we are not finished. Ladies and gentlemen, I got the MP40 in my hand. Wings of Redemption made a funny joke. He said it's gotta be the MP420 in Call of Duty World War II because just how Activision has been uh, taking it. Look how fast I deleted that guy. This gun was crazy overpowered back in the game what i think call of duty should do is appeal to the bigger brother the older brother that's how you make things popular you get the older brother to play it and then their younger brother is oh shit i want to play it i know my older brother is cool he fucks bitches 420 blaze it yolo drop shot when's the last time you pulled off a drop shot i'm on point i haven't played this game in a long time i'm popping off with a 20 kill streak here in free for all. So I think they should appeal to the older demographic, the hardcore Mountain Dew drinking, Dorito eating, Xbox 360, Halo 3 days, Modern Warfare 2 days. Not this fidget spinning generation. I just don't see why Call of Duty is doing this. And this is one of the reasons why Battlefield outsold Call of Duty. Now, I will finish this video by saying I've seen some controversy on BG Charts' numbers, but what other numbers do we have to go by? This is the leading video game sales statistic website that I can find, and they say that Battlefield sold more copies. Now, the other website said Infinite Warfare made more money than Battlefield 1. And we know if it, if it was a, a purely even trade where Battlefield was $60 and Infinite Warfare was $60, we could say, okay, I agree. Battlefield 1 sold less copies. But the price points aren't the same this year. Call of Duty did something unprecedented by selling two games for the price of one. They sold Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered and they also spent so much of the community's trust because I'm not the only one, but Modern Warfare Remastered isn't living up to all the hype that it could have. I haven't played the game since the map's been updated. They started the game with 10 maps, and I haven't played the game and since, since they added it. Oh, look at this no-scope right here. This no-scope. Headshot, baby! I haven't played Modern Warfare Remastered since they added the six maps to it. And I don't know if I'm going to pick it up anytime soon, to be honest. Because the connection is faulty. It doesn't feel right to me. There's a lot of problems. The Remastered didn't capture the same connection that the original had. It just didn't feel right as a longtime fan of Call of Duty, and I feel almost betrayed by the Activision agenda because we have patronized their game for so many years, and I feel like we've been left behind to cater to the social, correct, politically correct generation, these special snowflakes and these beautiful butterflies where when when we played the voice chat was so hardcore the teabagging was real the trash talk was there 
the game was on the same level. The game was hardcore too. What happened? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this World at War 2 for 1 extravaganza. I really had a fun time playing this game. I hope we got to talk about some real shit in today's video. Leave a like on it. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Thank you for coming out to the video. And let me know what you think about Battlefield selling more copies than Modern Warfare Remastered Infinite Warfare 2 for 1 bundle. Call of Duty sold two games and they couldn't sell more. Sad.